Yeah. What's going on, man? We back with another video, man. This is a quick tutorial for your shifter, man. If you got the steering wheel, yes, that's good. It's time to hook up the shifter. And we're talking about the Logitech wheel. If you have the Logitech wheel, we're going to hook up the shifter now, man. So um, let's go ahead and hop into it. We're already in the server. Of course, if you have your wheel installed, thank you. Thank you so much for having your wheel already installed. If you don't have your wheel installed, it's cool. Bro. Don't even worry about it. Don't stress. We already got a video for you. There is a video already made on my channel. Go check that out. It's very descriptive. Go to my page. Bam. I think it's like right at the top. Right there. Just bam. Right there at the top. Uh, now, for everyone that does have the wheel installed already, let's go ahead and get down to the shifter. I think you can see my area somewhere on your screen. I think in the top left, top right. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But uh, top left, I think. Yeah, top left. Can you, you know, you see my hands out here moving the steering wheel and all that stuff. Yeah. All right, this is good because I want to show you guys something. Let's go ahead and I'll go ahead to the car. Let me see, I got my arms crossed. We sit in the server. This is our server, LA Car Meets. If you're just wondering what server this is, LA Car Meets. Don't mind the dude over there on the floor, man. They got supplies for us. We're here at the car dealership and stuff. But um, back on subject, let's get in the car. All right, as you can see, we're in the car. Let's go ahead and start the car. Uh, if you look on my screen, uh, right above the map on my screen, you will see an A and an R. That means automatic. That means automatic from the uh, manual transmission. <clears throat> That's the program that we use, uh, with the script that we use in the server to, to, to get your steering wheel working with the car. Now, we're going to focus on the shifter. So, for the people that do have the steering wheel installed and you're ready for the add your shifter, um, I'm using the Logitech shifter. Uh, what we're going to do is to press the key to the right of the P. Alright. Now, as you can see in, in uh, manual transmission, it's not enabled. We're going to enable it. Uh, I'm assuming that you already have it connected to your steering wheel also too. Uh, we're going to if it, uh, when you open this uh, menu, it always starts on automatic, uh, you know, transmission or whatever. You slide over twice, pass sequential, and you go to H pattern. That's that's for your shifter. I don't think there's nothing else past H pattern. No, it goes, it jumps back to automatic. All right. So now, what you want to do is you want to go down to controls, go down to wheel and pedals. And then you jump down here to H pattern shifter setup. All right. And then uh, if you already have it installed, this is for future uh, future use. Uh, you see it says press right to clear H pattern shifter. That means if you if you get a new shifter that has more gears than this one or whatever, you can go back and change your settings. All right, so uh, you can, to hold right, what they mean press hold right is on your keyboard, you will press the right arrow and just hold it. And that clears everything. Oh, what you saying? What you saying, huh? Mm. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Jeez. Uh, that also works for resetting your steering wheel. If you update your steering wheel, get a thrust master or whatever that is, whatever you may grab, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you can go ahead and edit your settings and all that, man. Get it back to how you need it to be, man. This is a great setup, man. Major shout out to the guy that made, you know, manual transmission. Don't know your name, man. Hey, you the man. You hear me? You, you the man. But uh, let's go ahead and go straight into H pattern shifter setup. All right, so now, people that are using the, the Logitech shifter like me, uh, most cars on GTA don't go past five gears. Uh, some of them do. Uh, you can change your handling, you know, if you want to, or, or whatever on the car to bring down the gears. I'm not sure if you know. Check the handling. And uh, you can change how many gears is on the car and everything. This one has five gears. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, throw the, the, the settings onto the shifter so you know how to do that. See, now the first thing that will pops up when you set up this uh, shifter will be reverse so do not jump into first gear 
and thinking that it's asking for first gear first. No, it's going to ask for reverse first. So reverse on here, I will have to, on a Logitech shifter, you will have to push in the knob. You have to push the knob down and to the right and back. That might be on normal other shifters or whatever. But on here, man, it's, it's, it's difficult. I, I will say it's just because of maybe the quality of the inside of the Logitech shifter. I won't use that setting. All right. So for people that want to play GTA, uh, you might want to have your settings just a little bit different. And what I do is we go for the reverse. We put it in six gear. So reverse. It says shift into reverse. We will move all the way to the right and down. And now the, the, the item at the top of the screen, top left corner, has changed. And now it's asking for first gear. So now I take it out of sixth gear, put it back in neutral, go all the way to the front, go up. That's first gear. Drop all the way down. Second gear. It's asking for third gear. Neutral. Up. Third gear. Go down for fourth gear. All right. Go back to the middle for neutral. Fifth gear is all the way to the right and up. Now, it's going to ask for sixth gear after fifth gear, of course. And then it's going to ask for seventh gear. It's going to ask for eighth gear. It's going to ask for ninth gear. I think it's going to ask for tenth gear. So, I'm not saying there are vehicles that don't go past five gears. But for most vehicles, you won't have to get up to five gears before either you wreck, either you get to the destination. just depends on how fast the car is. It depends on the vehicle now. So, six gear, I don't press anything. We press right on the keyboard all the way to get all the way out to the main uh, menu. So right now I'm about to press the right arrow on the keyboard. Skip six gear, skip seventh, skip eighth, skip ninth, skip 10. And now it popped up and said H pattern shifter is saved. Make sure your H pattern is on and your transmission is enabled. So now, instead of what we're seeing the AR right above the uh, the map, you see it's a HN. That stands for the A shifter, of course. So our steering wheel is still moving. See the little guy in the, in the car is moving. We got it. We can hit the gas. If you know a manual car, you know in order to shift, you must have the clutch ready. So let me go ahead and take you back to the clutch for uh, people that didn't uh, install the clutch. Let's go ahead and press the P button again. Uh, we already got everything installed. We're just gonna show the guys how to uh, show you guys how to uh, add your clutch, wheel and pedals, and then go to analog input setup. All right. I mean, I, I might have been moving too fast. Let's go back to it's, it's uh, you know you pull up the menu controls, wheel pedals, analog input setup. All right. Then we go to clutch. Configure the clutch. Now you press that third pedal. If you don't have a third pedal, please don't press your brake because you will, you, you, you're not going to have no brakes, man. All right. Uh, we got that set up. Let's make sure we, we don't have a handbrake. Okay. We're getting a handbrake, guys. That's the next thing, handbrake. Uh, we're going to show you guys how to set that up, too. We're in H pattern. Everything is enabled. Hit the gas. See, see the body of the car rocking a little bit. That's cool. Oh, we also got reshade on, on 5M, man. We got reshade working. That's why you see the reflection of the car on the ground, man. All right, so now I'm about to shift from neutral. Is it neutral now? We're gonna shift from neutral uh, to first. Now, I'm gonna show you. Even if you were to shift into first right now, it won't work because you have to press the clutch. This is the clutch. The blue is the clutch. The green is the gas. Of course, the red is the brake. Smart, smart colors, man. I'm gonna put it in first without hitting the clutch. Now I'm gonna hit the gas. It doesn't work. It's still in neutral. Clutch, over and up. Win first. I, I don't have my foot on the gas, so the car cuts off. Just like real life. Uh, other than that, let's go ahead and try to start the car back up. I'm gonna start it up in gear and see what it does. It cuts off. <laughs> All right, that's cool. All right, so we're gonna put it back in neutral. Start the car. It sits on in neutral. Alright. Uh, I'm not sure why sometimes my turn signal comes on. It might be something that deals with uh, 
the shifter or the the turning of the wheel that causes the turn signal to come on we're gonna fix that but um our turn signals are lsb on the on the on the uh, steering wheel that's my left turn signal all right and the right turn signal you hit it again to turn it off and the right turn signal is uh all right rsb yeah there it is blank all right yeah so uh you can try those in your server it might work i didn't set that up it, it works automatic so uh that'll be cool if that does work in your in your server uh other than that let's go ahead and start shifting so you guys can see this thing move all right and first i'm barely pressing the pedal Cut a little bit more. You hear it revving up? Alright, let's go on out the parking lot. Oh. <laughs> I stopped. I stopped. Hold up one second. Alright, turn the car back on. That's my fault. Alright, turn the car on. Playing first. Gotta keep it rolling. And the only reason you can get it to stop is to hold the clutch. Hold the clutch without hitting the gas, guys. And the car shouldn't turn off. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't turn off. But uh, if you're driving a POS, man, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, but uh, some people are going to say this is a POS. <laughs> I like Mustangs, but it's, I guess it's the drivers, man, to be messing up. All right. Uh, yeah, first, let's go ahead and drive this thing so you guys can hear it. See how it's idled up and be redlined on the left side? It's a traffic jam. Alright, second gear, third, alright, fourth gear. Now I'm letting it rev up so you can hear the the revs, so you can hear the RPMs in the different gears. I know I'm shifting late, I'm not shifting on time, I just want you to hear the motor, you know what I'm saying? So, now we're in fifth. Now, there could be a 6th and 7th gear. If you want to, you can add your paddle shifters to shift gears also. I don't think mine are installed right now. No, they're not on right now. But uh, you can. And that might be a trick to get past the 6 gears. I mean, you know, the 5 gears on the stick shift. But pretty, yeah, uh, man. Pretty much, that's, this is it right here, guys. You're driving. I'm gonna, I'm gonna downshift so you can guys can see. Server is free if you want to join uh, this server. You can start driving. It's already set up in this server. All right. Now I need to downshift to four. I'm turning and downshifting, but it's cool. Down a second. You can tell by the way it's driving how slow it is. I'm really in second. Go down to first. See? Too high for first. This is drive. This is decent. I'm not mad at it. At all. Whoa. Ah, I got work on my drifting. Yeah, man, but it's cool. I apologize if my head is in the camera. I know my camera's above me. I'm not used to it. But, uh, you know, I never did it while on stream. But, uh, yeah, at least you can see me shifting. That's all I want you to do is see me shifting. So you know that it works. Uh, and there you have it, man. You got your shift to work here, man. I hope I helped a lot of you guys. Uh, we didn't actually go in reverse, did we? <laughs> it's cool. It works, though. But um, shift right into reverse, man. I'm sure it works. Other than that, man, thank you guys for watching the tutorial. Uh, another video down out the books. Uh,
trying to think of another thing I can help you guys with, but we'll figure it out. Uh, sub to the channel, man. Uh, if you haven't subbed to the channel, uh, like the video, comment up under it, man. Uh, if you got any questions, feel free to ask them, man. I I'll help you out. Uh, other than that, join the Discord, join the community, man. Play some of the games that I play. Hop in the room with me, man, and, and, and just get some more content going, man. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, man, y'all have a good day. Uh, peace out.